Happy New Year's everyone. Um, I thought I'd start this video out with Emma playing a new song. Um, if y'all are wondering what this song is, it's uh, Didn't I Walk on Water. Y'all can look it up on YouTube. But um, I hope y'all enjoy this video and I'll see y'all later. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make cheesy chili cornbread casserole. First you're going to need two pounds of ground beef. Uh, this is frozen so we're going to get this uh, browned up real good and then we're going to add some onions. So I'm going to take over here and we're going to chop some onions. Okay, so you only need um, a medium onion. This is a large onion so we're just going to cut half of this. Okay, now they got my onion chopped. So it calls for a can of uh, diced tomatoes with green chilies. I don't have that, so I'm gonna substitute with probably a half a can of tomato sauce, and I have a can of green chilies. So that's what we're gonna do there. And then you need a can of black beans. And I will link this recipe down below. Okay, it's almost done, so it's still a little pink. I'm gonna add my onion and then uh, till they soften and then we'll be back. Okay guys, while my onions are softening in our hamburger meat, cooking down, um, you're going. this is what I'm using. Mild cheddar, I just got the block and we're gonna slice it thinly and then we're gonna lay it over our meat topping. So, while that's cooking, I'm just gonna get this sliced. Excuse the uh, bagging in the back. My husband's doing a project with our son. You know those rubber band guns? That's what they're making. Got it! <laughs> okay, let's sauce this. Okay, guys, so y'all can um, gladly put shredded on top of this meat. I know we're putting shredded in the meat. I just wanted to put this block cheese on there. So, just want to let y'all know y'all are welcome to eat, take the easy way out and put uh, shredded cheese on top. Okay guys, my husband, they're, they're laughing in the background with this rubber band going, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is our hamburger meat with our onion, and now you're going to add a teaspoon of salt. Four teaspoons of chili powder.
two teaspoons of cumin. Okay, then you're going to put a can of green, I'm going to put a can of green chilies in here. And then I'm going to start out with a half a can of tomato sauce. If I need more, I'll add it later. Half a can. Now, it calls, it calls, call, calls for the diced tomatoes with the green chilies. But like I said, I didn't have it, so we're improvising. Um, and then you're going to add, I think, that, and a can of black beans. I have them drained. Just, I strained mine and a can of black beans. And you're just going to give this a good mix. to put on top of this. Uh, you'll see when we put it in the night, I mean, put it in our casserole dish. You can do shredded on top of this as well. Um, I just sliced mine. I'm gonna give this a little taste and see if it needs anything else. Tastes really good. So we're going to take this over here and put it in our, it's not quite a 9 by 13, but let me take you over here. Okay, so I did move on up to a 9 by 13 because I think the other one that's a little bit smaller than this is going to be too small. So I go ahead and pour your mixture in the 9 by 13. And if you have a big cast iron, you can do it in that. I just have a smaller cast iron. And my bigger one's too thick, so. Okay. Okay, now you're gonna add your sliced cheese on top. Let me move y'all up so y'all can see. Okay, so now you're just gonna add the cheese on top. Like I said, you can put you can put shredded or you can use the sandwich slice. That's easier. And you can put whatever kind of cheese you want. I just got mild cheddar. Another slice. Okay, so now we're going to get our cornbread mix together and then we're going to pour it on top. Okay, so this recipe that I'm going to be post linking, I've totally like redone it. So if y'all want to go by it, that's fine. But it has it making its own cornbread topping. I'm just going to use the little packages and then I'm going to add a cup of cheese to it and pour it over the top. So. Okay. Okay. 
and you just go by the directions on back. I think one package is one egg and then two third cups milk. cheese is already starting to melt and I got my oven preheated on 350 and we're just going to pour this mixture on top and you can add a jalapenos to this if you wanted it spicy I would if it was just me because I love jalapenos in my cornbread but some of my kids don't like jalapenos So now you're going to put this in the oven between 30 and 40 minutes, depends on your oven. Um, so let's get this in here and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Let's see if I can film while I'm dishing it so I can get a better look. See the layers of cheese, and then you got cheese in the cornbread. That on top, and this is going to be a standalone dish for us tonight. So I'll get my husband to do a taste test, and we'll be back. Okay, so my husband's going to taste it. And let me know. It's good. Hmm. Good. So, Jacob, is it good? Yes, it is. Are you going to eat all of it? Okay. So, uh, we'll catch you back next time.